Well, we've been together for it's over four years now, isn't it? Coming up to our fourth anniversary, yes. Yeah, um, and we've been trying probably for two years to have a baby, naturally. Um, and over the last year, obviously, we've had to get some help. So we've started doing IVF. I don't think it was a difficult decision to do IVF because, you know, I, I'm 40 and Danny's 38. So I think maybe if we were in our early 30s, we probably would have just kept trying for maybe four or five years. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when you get to this stage, we kind of knew it was, not that it was now or never, but we were ready to start a family and we didn't really have the time to keep waiting and, and trying naturally. And as well with the lifestyle that we live, being on the road all the time, you know, it was it was quite difficult. It's ex I think it's exciting when, when at the first time we watched the the, um, the the embryo because they show you on a screen they show you the embryo being put into the womb because they kind of it's like a turkey baster and they kind of they kind of flush it and it, I think it has some kind of a, it's a bit more sensitive than that just a yeah but no but it's fl it. it's flush but it's a it's a little light you see on the screen and you see it it fires out if, so yeah, once it's like everything it. in place they do they do push it into the so line like, and, and you see it on the screen going yeah and then they go there it is now there it is in the womb and it's so strange you're like wow that's the beginning of yeah of and they your give child. you a, they give you a little picture as well of yeah. it, don't they as well and we had we had we had the scan on our fridge then yeah we've kept those and we have it and we had a scan for the second one as well which obviously had nothing but we kept them both on the, on the, on the fridge and uh, we'll keep doing it until eventually the child that we have comes and starts drawing over crayons but I, I found the process of IVF fascinating I mm. mean it the mind boggles at how how they even came up with all of this you know who discovered that they could do that and it was discovered it was the first ever IVF treatment was in Oldham oh yeah it was Oldham Hospital yeah, yeah. Um, but it, yeah it's, it's such it, Obviously, when you're going through it for the first time, it's just a massive learning curve. I think we've really grown closer, actually, because of it, mm. um, because you go through these really emotional experiences together. Um, and obviously, loss, it experienced the loss as well. But it's just in, it's incredible when you see how it, how it all works and they're showing you that, you know, the lining of your womb now is thick enough. We can, we can do the transfer and there's a certain amount of time that the frozen ones have got to come out and thaw. And then at that precise moment, then they have to be put into the, into the womb. It's just every step is so detailed and, and it's an, an emotional roller coaster really because I think it's probably worse if you know what to expect. I mean, we've just been taking it a step at a time. Mm -hmm. So we've been learning as we've been going along, but w once you know how it works, it's it's fascinating. Yeah. And it's, it's real highs and, and lows, but I don't think it would ever put me off. Even knowing now what, what you kind of go through in IVF, it would never put me off doing it. it it's, it's an experience, it's fascinating, but it is also, it's so magical, even though it has its real low points. And it wouldn't be anything that I would say to anyone, oh no, you need to really think about IVF. It's, it's a no-brainer when it yes. comes to you know having children Definitely and trying. Do. It's yeah, absolutely, I would do it mm -hmm. again. Make the same decisions. Nothing would put me off doing IVF. So we're about to start our third attempt, and I'm really positive about this one because we've spent the last pretty much four or five months, you know, preparing our bodies. Yeah. Um, especially Danny, you know, her her body's in in it's in prime condition. Her body could not be in any better condition. For, for this to work this time. You know, we don't know last time why it didn't work and it might be that she was too acidic or what we were eating or what we we're doing, mm -hmm. but we have given ourselves the absolute best chance this time. So all we can do now is do it, cross our fingers and, and just hope it, hope it works.